Hello and welcome to the Rule 33 video. Rule 33 focuses on the equipment for making the sound signals. Rule 33A states that a vessel of 12 meters or more in length shall be provided with a whistle. A vessel of 20 meters or more in length shall be provided with a bell in addition to a whistle. And a vessel of 100 meters or more in length shall, in addition, be provided with a gong, the tone and sound of which cannot be confused with that of the bell. The whistle, bell, and gong shall comply with the specifications in Annex 3 to these regulations. The bell or gong both may be replaced by other equipment having the same respective sound characteristics, provided that manual sounding of the prescribed signals shall always be possible. All right, so this is a pretty long one, so let's break it down to make sure that you fully understand it. So this rule is basically covering the sound signaling devices that a vessel has to have based on the length of the vessel. So let's jump right in and go through them one by one. So the first one, a vessel of 12 meters or more shall have a whistle. Then a vessel of 20 meters or more shall have a whistle and a bell. And then lastly, a vessels of 100 meters or more shall have the whistle, a bell, and a gong. Now, the important thing is that these sound signaling devices need to have the prescribed tone as an Annex 3 of these regulations. Essentially, what this means is that these sound signaling devices cannot be mistaken for another sound. So basically, the tone and the range that you can hear these sounds needs to be correct. Rule 33B states that a vessel of a less than 12 meters in length shall not be obliged to carry the sound signaling appliances prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, but if she does not, she shall be provided with some other means of making an effective sound signal. So what this is basically saying is that a vessel of less than 12 meters is not required or mandated to have these sound signaling devices as prescribed in rule A. But if they do not have these, they need to have other forms of being able to produce the same sound signals as described in paragraph A. This would mean something like a portable air horn. All right, congratulations on completing the rule 33 video. It's gonna be really important that you fully understand understand the sound signaling devices that a vessel must carry based on her length. So study your notes really hard and when you're ready, I'll be waiting for you in the next video.